everyone, my name is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. This is a question I get asked very often because diabetes has been portrayed in the media as something that happens to you when you lead a very unhealthy lifestyle or you are overweight. However, this is not the case. There are two types of diabetes that exist and I want to help inform you, answer some of your questions, and educate those who may or may not know the difference. As a type 1 diabetic, I do not produce any insulin. I have to take insulin artificially in order to keep my body healthy and keep my blood sugar levels under control. When I was first diagnosed, I was one of the people in the world that thought that there was only one type of diabetes in the world, which was type 2. I was very, very confused when I was diagnosed because I thought that diabetes was meant to be diagnosed in older people. I've always seen older people get diabetes and they were typically very unhealthy when diabetes. I was very, very confused. I was one of those people who thought that there was only one type of diabetes in the world and it typically happened in older people. That's what I had always seen. That's what I thought. I saw many older people who lived a very unhealthy lifestyle get diabetes and I thought that it meant that I didn't take care of my body very well. Now. I am planning to do a video on my diagnosis story and that will be coming very very soon. But a little bit of background about me, I have always been a very healthy eater, a very picky eater. I do not eat much junk food at all, I try to avoid it at all costs. Whenever I go out to eat with my family or my friends, I'm always the girl that orders a salad and iced tea and I, I just enjoy eating healthy. I also have been very active all my life. I was in sports, I was a cheerleader for 13, 14 years, and I loved doing gymnastics and dance. I loved being outside. So I didn't understand why I did get diabetes. But now that I have received further education and I've been more active in the diabetic community, I understand that there are two types of diabetes in the world and that there is so much more to learn about these conditions. Type 1 diabetes is the type that I have. Type 1 diabetes typically happens when a person is in their childhood. Diabetes can be diagnosed in a person from infancy up until the, your early 30s, those are mo that is the most common time in a person's life that if you do have type 1 diabetes, that you will be diagnosed with it. Type 1 diabetes is a form of diabetes that attacks the insulin producing cells in the pancreas and with no insulin, you have no control over your blood sugar. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease in which the insulin producing cells are attacked in a person's pancreas. Insulin is a hormone secreted by your pancreas which helps turn your carbohydrates, anything that you eat, into sustainable usable energy. Insulin also helps control your blood sugar levels. With no insulin, your blood sugar is not controlled and will continue to rise. When your body cannot use the food that you are eating for energy, it pretty much goes right through you. You aren't getting any of the nutrients that the, the food is meant to give you, which can cause extreme weight loss, which is a symptom of type 1 diabetes. The only treatment for type 1 diabetes is insulin. When I was diagnosed, I first learned how to give standard injections with syringes. You draw up the insulin and you insert the needle into your skin and you give yourself insulin. I moved on to the insulin pen, which is similar to the injection. It is just in pen form. 
in January of 2015, I was able to get my insulin pump, which I absolutely love and I'm so thankful for, and that is the way I get insulin. Type 2 diabetes is much more common amongst those who are diabetics. Type 1 diabetes, those who are type 1 diabetics make up about 10% of the diabetic population in the world. 90% of diabetics are, happen to be type 2. Type 2 diabetes is considered a metabolic condition. Type 2 diabetes typically affects those who are in their 40s or above. Sometimes type 2 diabetes can be diagnosed much younger. However, between the ages of 40 and 45 are when a person is typically diagnosed. Type 2 diabetes is much more common amongst those who do not lead a very healthy lifestyle. If you are not eating the proper diet, not getting enough exercise, this does increase your risk for type 2 diabetes. If you have type 2 diabetes, you either don't make enough insulin or you don't make the type of insulin your body can use to properly turn your carbohydrates and what you're eating into sustainable, usable energy. The cells in your body will become more resistant to insulin, making the body think it needs to produce so much more insulin to keep your blood glucose levels or your blood sugar at a normal range. And your body is thinking that it needs to overproduce this insulin, your pancreas will eventually get tired and unfortunately produce less and less insulin as your life continues and as your lifestyle becomes more unhealthy. Type 2 diabetes can be managed through eating healthy, exercising, and monitoring your blood glucose levels. Usually if a person makes a lifestyle change in order to be healthier and to take better care of their body, type 2 diabetes can essentially go away. However, type 2 diabetes is a progressive condition and those who have type 2 diabetes for 10 years or more will actually have to take tablets or a little bit of insulin through injections in order to manage their blood glucose levels. By watching this video, I hope I could help you learn a bit more about diabetes and that, that there are two different types. I have found so much strength, comfort, and support in the online diabetic community. I would really like to take this time to say thank you for supporting me and for supporting each other. It really is comforting to know that there is a whole community of people who are just here to help each other and that's what I love so much about it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your views, kind comments, and messages. I hope you all are having a fabulous day, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye!